Hi there, welcome back to the channel, David Taylor or Mr. Pelagonium, back with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Uh, today, I'm actually just going to do a quick video looking at the second batch of my Regal hybrids. If you're into Regal um, breeding, uh, this is what I've been up to in the last year. Bred them last year, to, uh, sowed the seeds in the autumn. Uh, they've all been flowering. There's a part one to the video just up there. I'll, I'll post that there. So let's have a look. Let's get straight on to it. Um, there's about five or six more that have flowered since that first video. Uh, so we'll home in on those. The easiest thing for me to do is to take the camera off the uh, tripod there and we'll just have a little run through them. Right, now the first one we'll have a look at is one that I have got on the bench here that you probably saw in my intro. Um, this is quite a nice plant. I've got a few now that have come with a white base. Um, and this has got uh, so well, it's not red colouring. It, it's deep crimson, verging on sort of a bit of mauve, magenta. It's always difficult to cl classify some of these colours. But this one's got quite a dominant stripe on the lower petals. It's more than a feather. It's quite a bold stripe, and the the typical uh, more bolder upper petal colour that you get on the regals. But uh, it's got a, vi a, a vibrant, bright white base. Uh, so that's quite an interesting one. Uh, similar to another white over here. And this one has got a bit more red colouring to it. And we've got another one as well. I'm just going to turn that bloom round. This is very frilly. A very frilly white base with almost sort of fairly dark crimson blotches all the way around. I mean, this bloom here almost looks double. It's so almost doubled up. I think that is almost semi-double as well, that petal. It could just be that it's the first one of the top. Um, but yeah, that's got quite good colouring. A lovely frilly bloom. Uh, in terms of colouring, it's not dissimilar to Zofia Pope, which is over there. Uh, but it's a slightly larger bloom, a slightly larger head. Um, and the, uh, but the colouring is fairly similar. It's a bit more uh, open and uh, more of a blotch on the upper petals. And another white, which I will do next, uh, is this one. Now, this is really quite nice. It's a very small, frilly bloom. It's a red with a, with a very slight hint of uh, magenta in it, but not much. But it's covering virtually the whole of the bloom. Um, the lower petals are pretty well covered with it. The upper petals are almost entirely covered with a, with a Picotty white edge. I really like this. I think this has got a lot of promises, plant, because it's quite small. You can see that's my little finger. The blooms are only about an inch and a half across uh, or what's that? Four, five, well, about four centimetres, um, which is a relatively small for a uh, for a regal bloom. I mean, just for an example, this one here next to it, you can see is more a normal size. This is one of my earlier ones, actually. Um, but you can see that's quite big on my main finger. But compared to that one, um, these blooms are quite small. So that's a very interesting one. And I, I'm really you know, quite pleased with that. I think that's got a lot of promise. Now over here, we're going down to the dark theme again. This has clearly come through from the Marie Rudling sport that I used for the as the pollen parent. Um, now this one is almost got sort of a gold overlay to it. But it's quite similar to some of the other ones that I did, but it's got very, it's really got quite bold colouring. That's quite dark and quite interesting. Now we're going to come over here now to this one. This is a Regal Angel Cross, and it's the first time I've ever been able to achieve it. Unfortunately, only one of the seeds germinated from the little batch that I had with using the pollen from Quantock candy onto my Shrivenham Pearl Regal, which incidentally is just about to flower, that Shrivenham Pearl. It's produced, strangely, it's got the sort of very basic 
sort of colouring of the Quantock candy, strangely, uh, with the white eye and the sort of pink round the edge. Uh, but it's obviously got the size of bloom um, of a regal. Uh, but it is it's a relatively compact plant. So that's an angel regal cross. First time I've ever got a seed to, uh, to germinate and grow on through the winter to see the end result. But I'm relatively happy with it. I've got another one. I mean, this one here, this was 2111. Um, I'm sure we did we see that one last time round? I actually can't remember. Uh, I think we did, but I've got another one that's come through that's very similar to that one. It's very similar, so I won't sort of bore you with that. It'll just be a question of retaining whatever one I feel has the the best growth, and that's how it will be. That's how it will we will end up. Uh, deciding on what plants we're going to retain because I've got if I've got some that are very very similar it will just simply be a case of keeping the uh, the best ones well they always say sort of best to last so I bought one onto my bench here and I have got for the first time um, a really good orange now I have never been able to produce an orange regal before and I'm completely pleased to be able to say that I finally got one it's a very frilly girl um, and it is a very very vibrant orange very it's a light orange it's a good orange it's very frilly almost too frilly actually but uh, I am so pleased to say that I've been able to uh, produce this because in the past about 10 years ago, I did a breeding program for Regals trying to get oranges, and it failed hopelessly. But I've got one accidentally. Uh, and I think this is quite nice. It's got a, a very deep crimson blotch on the, on the upper petals. It's got a white throat, uh, but perfect light orange all around the base colour. This is the same cross. It's shriven and pearl uh, crossed with the pollen from Marie Rudling, a Marie Rudling sport. And all that you've seen, the sort of colour variations that we've had, a lot of purples, a lot of whites, a lot of darks from the, uh, the Marie Rudling sport. But I've not had anything like this. Not had anything orange whatsoever. So this one has come through uh, and I am very, very happy with it. Little hint of colour on the lower petals, the little crimson, teeny hint of a crimson feather. But the lovely colouring of that vibrant orange and it's a vibrant light orange. And I am really, really happy with that. Hi, right, it's a few days later and I've just um, seen my small regal uh, flowering. So I'm just going to film this. I'm actually processing the video now. So I'm just filming this on the 6th of June. So we'll have a look at that one as it's just opened and included in this video. Now this is a, uh, a very compact plant. Um, it's a beautiful shape. It's very compact has the potential to make quite a good show plant, but very dark blooms, as you can see here. These are very dark, but very quite nice. Equal coloration in all of the petals by the looks of things. There's a separate one there, so there's no crown flower as such. Um, but these are quite small, only inch and a half, so what, three centimeters across, maybe sort of three and a half. Um, but so an interesting coloration, but I, I quite like this, quite a dark bloom, pale lavender, um, purple base with a real deep, big plum blotch on each of the petals. So I quite like this. Uh, this has the potential to make a really good show plant. It's very dense. There is already an immense amount of side shoots growing out. I could already get a lot of cuttings off of this um, plant um, but but it is really worthy this one i will when a flu a few more of the um pips come out i will take a picture and put it on my social media pages right so that's about it for now i hope you enjoy that little look round at some of the new colors that i've got there that have come through by little second batch 
of later flowering of later flowering regal hybrids now coming up next week i will do a video about the small little zonal which we're uh, taking through and cutting back for all the beginners out there that would like to get a nice bushy zonal plant um so we'll have a look at that i'll film that next week and get that one out before we move into the main show season because i'm going to be getting really busy and i'm unlikely to be doing too much in the way of videos now before the show but i will do one on cutting back that little zonal um i will be doing videos at the show i will obviously record all of the uh the stage plants as i've done before uh but in the meantime if you're not subscribed think about clicking that subscribe button uh turn on your notifications and you'll get informed when i release a new video but in the meantime bye for now